Mr. President, um, the American people, as we all know, are facing many serious, one might describe them as grave issues, some of which fall under the purview of our United States Department of Energy. Average gas prices remain well above $3 a gallon. That's a hardship on a lot of Americans. That's up 50 percent since President Biden took office. Average electricity prices, that's something we have to deal with every day. They have increased 14.5 percent since 2022. Our aging power grid remains at risk for devastating cybersecurity attacks. And while China's nuclear stockpile is growing, ours is getting older and it's getting smaller. These are weighty problems, Mr. President. You know that as well, if not better than I do. These problems cost the American people a lot of money, and they place our national security at risk. And they're all impacted by the United States Department of Energy and the policy that it creates. But instead of trying to get control over our gas prices or the national security issues that I just mentioned, President Biden's administration and his energy department, frankly, seems more concerned about Americans' basic kitchen appliances. And suddenly, dishwashers seem to be enemy number one. The Department of Energy recently announced that it would be proposing a new rule, Mr. President, to regulate the amount of water and the amount of energy used by dishwashing machines nationwide. Now, under the proposed rule, I, I want to describe it fairly, under the proposed rule, dishwashers will only be able to use 3.2 gallons of water per cycle. Right now, um, the rule allows, though dishwashers don't use as much, but the rule allows a dishwasher to use five gallons of water per cycle. No person with a brain above a single cell organism has asked for this change, Mr. President. No reasonable circumstance demands it. Instead, the Department of Energy and President Biden's administration has hearkened to the extreme climate activists who, frankly, we have learned from bitter experience, will find any reason to micromanage the lives of Americans by force, if necessary. Let me give you a case in point. Most American dishwashers already use less than five gallons of water that is allowed under current regulations. In fact, most American dishwashers use not five, which is allowed, but 3.5 gallons of water per cycle. Why? Because the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, gave its, quote, energy star standard seal of approval to any dishwasher that'll use 3.5 gallons or less. So even though a, washing, a, a dishwasher can use up to five to get the seal of approval, which most dishwashers have and most manufacturers want, you have to use 3.5 or less. Now, despite being EPA approved, the Department of Energy's new rule will force manufacturers to abandon these efficient designs that we're already using to placate people who arbitrarily want not 3.5, 
but 3.2 gallons of water per cycle. And you may be thinking, Mr. President, okay, well, we'll see. We will save three gallons per cycle. We will not. Uh, President Obama, I, I, I want to... I, I, I want to sidetrack a moment, this, but this is relevant. During President Obama's administration, his regulators imposed a similar restriction. The results were disastrous. His rule was adopted in 2012, some may recall, increased the price of dishwashers by $100. That's $100 in 2012 dollars. It's more today. In exchange for those higher prices, the regulation that President Obama promulgated forced Americans to buy machines that don't wash their dishes nearly as well as the older machines, and that will prove the case with this new rule that, that is being promulgated by the Department of Energy. Now, if you have one of these dishwashers, not the ones yet that yet to be approved by the Department of Energy, but, but the ones mandated under President Obama, you know how it goes. You have to pre-wash the dishes. I mean, it defeats the whole purpose of a dishwasher. If you don't pre-wash the dishes, half the gravy is still going to be on the plate after the first run. And so, that leaves families with a choice. You can run the machine, the dishwasher twice, which uses twice as much water in order to, to, uh, to get your dishes clean, or you have to hand wash your dishes, which is going to use about 17 gallons of water. Both of these options, and once again, this is not the new rule yet. We're, we're, we're under President Obama's restrictive but less restrictive rule. Both of these options waste more water than the older washers. Now, the Department of Energy itself admits that 20% of families who own a dishwasher never use it. Why is that? It's not because dishwashing is fun. It's because they don't want to taste last night's jambalaya in their morning Cheerios when these weaker machines don't do their job. So now, instead of having dishwashers use enough water the first time to actually clean dishes, we're going to have even more families opting to use an average of 17 gallons of water per night to wash by, by hand. Let me restate this. Under President Obama's regulation, which will be made even worse by the proposed regulation by President Biden, if you wash your dishes the first time, they don't get clean. And those of you who use a dishwasher know what I'm talking about. You do save water the first round, but your dishes aren't clean. So you're forced to use the, the, the dishwasher a second time, which uses even more water, or you're forced to wash your dishes by hand, which uses three times more water. Now, you, you don't need to be Euclid to see that this does not add up to, energy, to uh, water savings. And it makes even less sense when you consider the savings in electricity. The Department of Energy's new rule would, it says it'll, it'll cut the amount of energy that dishwashers can use by 27%. Shoot, we ought to all be for that. Um, it'll cut uh, the amount of electricity, dish energy, from 307 kilowatt hours annually to 223 kilowatt hours. That's for a standard dishwasher. The, uh, Department of Energy under President Biden says that this will help reduce, quote, carbon pollution, and it's going to save the American people money. And in, in, in reality, it won't. 
by decreasing the amount of allowed energy use by 27% under this new proposed rule, the new rule will save 84 kilowatt hours annually. That's fewer kilowatt hours than it takes to run an LED light bulb for a year. We're not talking about serious energy savings. How much will it save the American people? Using the very generous estimates of the Department of Energy, it's going to save Americans about 17 bucks annually every year. That's not even enough for a tank of gas under President Biden's inflation. However, once again, I'll draw a parallel to the so-called water savings. Once again, the lesser performance capacity in these energy-efficient machines is going to result in more Americans choosing to run the machine twice or to hand wash the dishes just to get the plates clean. It's important to consider the context, too, Mr. President. I want to get Louisianians, let me talk about my state. I know my state best. We are, just as you know, Mr. President, you're wonderful state best. Louisianians are paying an extra $740 a month, not a year, a month, because of President Biden's inflation. That's almost $9,000 a year. And most of my people are not wealthy people. Let me, just, let me just read you. These are not my numbers. These are the numbers compiled by President Biden's own government. Electricity is up 20 percent. Gas, 48 percent. Eggs, I know they've come down a little bit, thank God. They're still up 67 percent. Potato chips, 28 percent. Bread, 27 percent. Coffee, 30 percent. Rice, 28 percent. Flour's up 24%. Milk's up 20%. Ice cream's up 21%. Chicken's up 21%. Bacon. I don't want to live in a world without bacon. It's up 10%. I could keep going. I mean, the American people and my people are burning through their savings, and they're getting priced out of the housing market. But... President Biden's administration seems to be obsessed with robbing our people of access to affordable appliances that actually get the job done. And I can't think of any better evidence um, of the fact that in too many instances, this administration has a fatal attraction to nutty ideas. I'm not against regulation. I mean, I, 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 I think... Uh, the world's complicated and in some cases dangerous, and if we can make it more efficient and safer for our people, we ought to do it. But you have to weigh the cost and the benefit. You have to weigh the cost and the benefit. This is what we know after doing that under this proposed new rule. The new rule is not going to save water. It's not going to save a significant amount of energy. It's not going to save the American people money. In fact, it's going to cost them money. This, this new policy is not going to be a win for America, but I'll tell you who it will be a win for. The People's Republic of China. China, the world's largest producer of CO2 emissions, we are reducing our CO2 emissions. China is increasing its CO2 emissions. China stands to benefit from this rule because it produces about 70% of the world's dishwashers. And China is probably going to produce 70% of the new dishwashers mandated by the Department of Energy. More business for China. The dishwasher manufacturers in China are delighted. Now, these manufacturers in China, their factories, they don't run on solar panels. 
They don't want run off of wind energy. They're not powered by, by fairy dust or unicorn urine. Nor do the ships that have to bring the dishwashers from China to the American consumer. They all run off fossil fuels. Some of these manufacturers in China that our Department of Energy is giving business to run off coal. And look, I care about our planet, and I know you do too, Mr. President. I want clean air. I want bright water. We all do. But this new proposed rule by the Department of Energy is not going to help anything or anybody. It's only going to make the American people have to spend more money on less efficient machines. The costs dramatically outweigh the benefit. It's going to make most of them either stop using their dishwasher or use it twice, using twice as much water or energy, or, or, just, or frustrate them to the point that they're going to say, hey, I'll just wash the dishes by hand, using three times the amount of water. And it's not just dishwashers. If it were just dishwashers, I, I, I would chalk this up to, well, just we've got a, we, we, we've got a, We've got some regulators that we need to talk to and rein in. There are other things on this looming list. In the past few months, the Biden administration has proposed new regulations for electric motors, for beverage vending machines, for microwaves, for ovens, for refrigerators, for furnaces, for air conditioners, for light bulbs. Get ready. In fact, the Biden administration added more than 110 regulations since it's been in office on appliances and equipment during two years. Most of these policies, if you weigh the costs, and the benefits make no sense, not in terms of CO2 emissions, not in terms of energy savings, not in terms of water savings, and certainly not in terms of the pocketbook of the American people. They are the sops to the woke wing of the Democratic Party. Not all Democrats. I'm not going to paint with a broad brush here. Not all of them. But there are some members of the Democratic Party. Think, they think that we would all be better off if we had a rule for everything. And they think that the American people are not capable of running their own lives. These new regulations will do little, if anything, to help the planet. But they do harm regular Americans. The Americans who get up every day, go to work, obey the law, pay their taxes, try to do the right thing by their children, and try to save a little money for retirement. That's who these new regulations are going to hurt. They just, all, all these folks want is for their dishwashers to work. They want to spend less time on dishes because they want to spend time with their families. They don't want to have to hand wash the dishes every night. That's what they bought a dishwasher for. Now, surely, the regulators who are proposing this know that. And that's why they're going to downplay, they already are, the dishwasher regulations. It's why they're going to act confused when Amer Americans wonder if the federal government is coming to hook, unhook their gas stoves next. We've heard officials from the Biden administration say, if you like your gas stove, you can keep your gas stove. Not true. I'm sorry. It's just not true. 
This administration is willing to regulate and try to control every aspect of American life. There are people in this administration that believe that. Why? To avoid empty criticism from the looning left. The looning left, which often ignores science and always insists on more control. Don't listen to what politicians do or say. Don't. Never listen to what a politician says. You can listen to them, but you got to compare it to what they do. What you do is what you believe. Everything else is just cottage cheese. President Biden and his administration are saddling Americans with harmful, maybe even hateful regulations because they care more about what the activists say on TikTok than they do about the quiet suffering of everyday families in America and all over this country. They have a blind spot for the lives and concerns of ordinary Americans. And it's why this administration is more worried about dishwashers and gas stoves than the fact that the average Louisiana family is paying $740 more a month, not a year, because of inflation. It's why they'll kill American jobs while continuing to buy solar panels and new dishwashers from the polluters in China. It's why they'll give rich people tax credits to buy electric cars. How many poor people do you know driving electric cars? It's why they'll give rich people tax credits to buy electric cars while people in rural areas in rural America struggle to pay for a full tank of gas and can't even dream of buying a used car because the used cars cost 30% more since President Biden took office. All this virtue signal, to some it may be amusing, but it's not free. There's no free lunch. And you don't get one now. It costs money, money that Americans don't have, and it causes them pain that they don't deserve, Mr. President. The new rule on dishwashers isn't yet settled. There's, uh, there's still time for my colleagues at the Department of Energy to scrap this rule and, and walk away from this fallacious nonsense. Uh, and I hope that they will.